our lives have been totally turned around since all the immigration stuff. Wayne King is the manager of Texas Tickles Creek Ranch, 3,000 plus hectares of land dedicated to hunting exotic animals. The property sits right on the U.S. border with Mexico. We got to shut the border down. We got to close the floodgate for, to get it back into order. The U.S. has seen a surge of asylum seekers crossing the border since President Biden came into power. With Customs and Border Patrol reporting the highest spike last December, a record 300,000 encounters that month alone. They'll cut a big section out, mm -hmm. take it out, and that way they'll only have to climb over this, this low part here. So I think I fixed 125 holes in it. And now we're not just talking little holes. We're talking four by four holes cut out of a fence, right, which has caused me to have to check fence every day. Through those holes, I lose very expensive gain, $400,000 approximately that have lost in revenue. I've had water lines broke. King says outsiders cannot grasp what water residents endure. I've had people at one o'clock in the morning knock on my door, knock on all my, I had it surrounded one night, knocking on all my windows and all my doors. Maverick County authorities confirmed to CGTN a marked increase in assaults sexual assaults and home invasions in communities along the border. Those are BLESBOCK, B-L-E-S-B-O-C-K. So Mr. King, what do you do if you're out with your guests and all of a sudden you encounter a group of undocumented migrants? I'll talk to them a little bit in Spanish. I give them water. They ask where is San Antonio. I point them down the road. If they're nice and courteous, I'm the same way. And I point them down the road and say, there's, there's the direction to San Antonio. If I hold them at gunpoint, they can get me for kidnapping. Now get that one. For this Republican rancher, the solution is a change of guard. Of course, I'm, I'm a conservative and I'm a Trump fan. So I can see he's gonna be our candidate. King believes Trump and the Republican party are better equipped to handle the immigration crisis. Within probably two weeks after he gets elected because we had the border somewhat under control. Not like, I mean, sure, we still, we've had problems for decades and decades, but under the pr previous uh, Trump administration, it was slow enough. I've been living on the border town my whole life, and I love it. It's what I consider the best of both worlds. There is an immigration crisis, but I don't believe it's a criminal crisis as some people paint it. I think what we have is a humanitarian crisis. The majority of Latinos in the U.S. see the border situation as a major problem, according to a recent survey. How to tackle it is where many on the border disagree. Edgar Juarez is a criminal attorney and a native of Southern Texas. I am a Democrat and uh, I believe in a lot of the platform for the Democratic. So. Uh, my vote will be for President Biden. I agree with getting help, but I think that the help that we're receiving is the wrong kind of help. I think what we need is we need, number one, immigration reform. Uh, number two, we do need um, uh, people down here, but not to arrest individuals. I think what we need is people to process the system so that people can gain legal entry into the United States. They both agree on one thing. We gotta have a change. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, Eagle Pass, Texas.